Hey guys, welcome to my curls. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite things, rather Maxie's favorite things <laughs> that he cannot live without. Maxie is an eight-year-old miniature schnauzer. <laughs> he does not like to have his picture taken or his video. And right now he's on super high alert because there is a dog loose in our neighborhood. So yeah, but this is Maxie Max. At one point we had three miniature schnauzers in our house. Unfortunately, we lost two of them last year to old age. So Maxie is an only child right now, but my animals and my pets are just like children to me. And my husband always jokes that if one of the kids gets sick, Eh, it's fine. They'll get over it. But if one of the dogs is sick, we are at the vet instantly. So I love my pets. I love dogs. And specifically, I am a miniature schnauzer lover. I think they are fantastic pets and wonderful animals. They have the best little personalities, but they bark. Just, they bark. Anyway, so I wanted to share with you some of Maxie's favorite things. I always want to make sure that our pets are happy, healthy, and safe. So the things I'm going to share with you today are the best products to do just that for you. Okay, so the number one thing on Maxie's cannot live without list are his dog treats. He loves a good treat. And I care very much about the food and the quality of food that I give my animals. And so we love to get him Newman's own dog treats. This is a peanut butter. They make one that is sweet potato as well. Maxie loves them. They're an organic treat. And if you can see the size of them, Maxie is a 20 pound schnauzer and these are the perfect size. Now the sweet potato treats are about double this. And so I have to break them in half when I give them to him because they're a little too big. But Newman's Own is fantastic. I can look at the ingredient list and I know everything in here. It's peanut butter, carrots, apples, chicken, molasses. It's all ingredients that are real and pure and that I understand. So he loves these treats. I feed Maxie Holistic Select dog food. He actually eats the lamb and rice. Um, and that is just because one of our first schnauzers, which was a little girl, had um, skin issues. And so the lamb and rice did best for her, and we just stuck with it. It's what we've always fed our dogs. Holistic Select uses high-quality products. There are no um, seeds. There are no feet and beaks in there. It is all high quality food it is stuff that you would want to feed your animals they produce less waste and they live longer and healthier lives if you feed them quality dog food so the next thing maxi cannot live without is his doggy door we installed the doggy door into our screen door see that so maxi can go out back our pool is closed it's ugly winter y'all but he can go out back any time that he wants to. The doggy door has like magnetic closures to keep, you know, anything from coming in the house, but it just swings out and he just goes in and out. Go out, buddy. Nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it because he's on camera. But we love this doggy door and we actually bought one that we had installed into the screen because I love to keep the back door open when it's nice out and I want him to be able to go in and out whenever he wants to. So I can go out. There's his little doggy door. Come on. Come on. Oh, there he went. Yep. So <laughs> all day long when we're home and it's nice, whoop, we keep the back door open and he goes in and out that doggy door a hundred times. The next thing I want to show you is probably the most important thing on my list and I think Maxie loves it too but it and I keep looking around because he's in the yard in front of me running around chasing some squirrels but I want to be able to let my dogs out in the yard I walk my dogs I put them on a leash and I take them for a walk but I want them to be able to go out in the yard and feel like they're free and chase squirrels and chase birds and bark at the other dogs that are next door and cars that go by and just roam free. I want the to, them to feel that they do not always have to be attached to me or locked up in our house. So we have an invisible fence. 
we actually had an invisible fence at our other house and then we moved here about 18 years ago we had a fence installed here and it is one of the best things ever like no joke there are several different types of fences that you can get we have always used the pet safe brand and there are two versions of the fence you can have a wireless version which has um, like a transmitter box that you plug up in your garage or somewhere in your house and it transmits a circular signal around your property works great only problem for me is my yard is not round we've got a lot of different property and trees and we have a creek and so that circle was just too limiting for me so we actually have the version where the wire is buried in the ground and I know that sounds like a really big deal but honestly it's not it goes in about I don't know six inches I did it myself I was pregnant and I got out here with a shovel and a little hand shovel and I literally buried the wire it so it's no big deal and it just all hooks back to a transmitter that's plugged in in our garage and it sets that boundary for our dog now there is a learning curve you have to train your dog it takes about three weeks you put flags up around the boundary line and you teach your dog not to go to the boundary to avoid the flags and if they get close to the flag their collar emits a beeping sound and for all of our dogs they were scared of that beeping sound they didn't like it so they would not even get into the warning zone to hear that beep much less think about going outside of the yard so it does take about three weeks you have to work with your dog you have to train them but once they're trained it is a fantastic tool to give your dog the freedom that I want them to have they can run and do whatever they want to do in the yard and not have to be attached to me I don't leave them in the yard when I'm not home when they are in the yard I always have an eye on them and they might come out and stay 20 minutes and they're they're back scratching on the door they want in it's not like they're gonna just spend the day out here but maxie has been out here the whole time I've been recording this video he's actually in front of me watching me now because he knows he's not being recorded but he's running around I mean he sees squirrels he's doing his own thing so we have our setup that he has full access to the yard he can run around our house and back around the other side to the front yard there is a flower bed in the front yard that I don't want him to trample in and so we ran the wire he can't get in it so the wired version gives you just more control but either way it goes an invisible fence is fantastic our fences have always come from a company called pet safe and I will show you the collar that maxi wears there are two prongs on the collar and you can get regular prongs if you have a big dog or you can purchase the little prongs if you have a small dog like I do so that's what maxi wears as soon as he comes in the house we take that collar off but when we put him out the collar goes on now he has left our yard before not gonna say that we have opened the door we have let him out without putting the collar on him and a dog has been loose in the neighborhood and he's decided he was gonna leave so I mean they're not 100% foolproof but 99% of the time he is gonna behave and if I'm out here I'd love to be outside barefoot and in the yard picking at my flowers and doing all that kind of stuff he loves to come outside with me and help so whatever I'm doing he's in the middle of it with me I know it is an investment it's several hundred dollars but I promise I promise I promise it is worth that for you and your pets so the other thing Maxi cannot live without is his collar he likes to be fashionable y'all look how cute that is but we get his collars from a very specific company for one reason we like to make sure that our phone number and name is on our pets so if they were to get out of the yard or if they're lost or hurt someone would have a way to contact us it kills me to see all of the animals the dogs that are found um, and have no collar on and people are searching for them on Facebook it just breaks my heart and I see no reason that you should not have your name and phone number on your pet so this company laser pets has a website they have so many cute collar designs all different styles and fits and then you can print your dog's name your phone number I think you have up to three lines to to print on their collar but they actually laser engrave that it's not printed on there it's not going to rub off 
it is permanently on that collar. And so all of our animals always get a new collar and we kind of do this every year at Christmas. We get them new collars just so that they have something new and change up their styles. I hope you're enjoying the information I'm providing to you. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I would love it. It's about my transition to silver hair. That's where this channel started. You can see there's a lot of gray going on today. But I'm home. I'm just doing a, a lot of nothing and recording videos. I needed the this hair out of my face, so I just kind of pulled it back in a little bit. And that's what it is today, guys. It just sometimes it is what it is, right? Thanks for joining me today for all of the things that I cannot live without and Maxie can't live without. So until next time, I'll see you later.